Hi, my creatures, my creatures, scarum, she's delicious, juicy tourists. Welcome to your love, Tiru. Reading Abracadabra, baby. Tonight we are going to do your general energy vibe check and love. We're going to see what is going on between you and your person. I'm sorry, got a little bit distracted because there's people having fun here because it's Friday night, the day of the goddess Venus. Aphrodite love is the day of love, baby. And we're just, you know, hanging out in my neighborhood. This is like a quiet spot, but there's like, you know, people having fun, which is great, you know. Fun is good. Fun is Taurus. You know, Taurus is all about life. You are the goddess Aphrodite, so it's your day as well. Mm -hmm. Flying card, the world. Just give me one second, baby. Oh my gosh, baby, I'm so sorry. The world flew down uh, onto the ground, but also there were like a bunch of boys here. They were just like, they went crazy. They saw me film. There's something about like doing videos in like a public space, a space that like brings out the best and the worst in people. They were kind of just excited and like, you know, whatever, whatever they were on. <laughs> Someone got excited. They wanted to be in the video. All right. The, um, but you know me, like, I love that kind of energy, you know, like, just, you know, live your life. The Empress at the bottom of the deck and the world card flew out of the deck before we even started. Uh, did I already say this is your general energy vibe check? What new, we're going to see what new fishies are coming at you in the sea of love. What fishy is out, what fishy is in, and what fishy is getting deleted from the database, baby. I can't remember now. It's too, you know, like the minute, but it, it was silence here, right? Nobody was, um, nobody was crossing her path, like, because it's like quite a little corner. And then the minute I turned on the video, all these people showed up. So I think, you know, that's a good sign for you, Taurus. You have a lot of abundance coming into your life. We have the mm, lunar eclipse tomorrow in Taurus as well. But Belle, this is going to be a mi an amazing transformative time for you. I think you're going to be starting with a whole new life, a whole new abundance, a whole new horizon for yourself. It's also significant for me because I'm Scorpio, your opposite sign. So big changes for both of us coming and a lot of deep manifestation energy tomorrow and for the next six months because eclipses you know it's not just the day it's the entire period so manifest what you truly desire boo boo because it will come your way the world the world is your oyster baby i was i have this compulsion whenever i see the world i'm like the world is your oyster i don't know why <laughs> it's just how it is but the world is your oyster, baby. And you won't be alone for forever, Bibi, okay? You got the Empress here at the bottom of the deck. You are seeking. You are seeking a soulmate. You're searching. You're searching for the one, baby. You know what you want. You know who you are. And the world is your oyster, but it won't be a lonely little oyster anymore. It's going to be a little duo oyster. <laughs> You're going to find your little Gomez, your um, Morticia. All right, let's see. Please show anyone in between. Please show me angels. Let's let's do the actual reading towards. Please show me angels. It's just telling Scorpio. I don't know if I'm feeling this full moon energy heavy because I'm always heavy with the full moon, but this time around I'm like giddy and happy and like fun at the same time like darkness. I don't know because <laughs> deep transformation, baby. It's also Scorpio season, so you know that's adding to the spice. <laughs> Boo -boo. Let me know in the comments below, Taurus. How are you feeling with this full moon energy coming upon us? Wow, there's Taurus. You're dealing, you're dealing, you know what? You were dealing with a douche flute. I can see why you feel like maybe, you know, when am I going to find the right person? Or, you know, feeling like, yeah, the world is my oyster, but like I'm alone inside this little oyster. Uh, the Five of Swords, someone deeply betrayed you in your recent past. A douche flute par excellence, you know? Douche flute of the highest order, lowest order actually, a cockroach, a worm, a toad, Bippo. I mean, what else? I mean, no offense to the toads and the cockroaches, you know, and the worms. I love them. This is not a lovable Bippo. This is not a, the, you were dealing with someone who th considers themselves a lovable rogue. They're not lovable. It's just a douche flute. Selfish, horrible, betrayed you. Someone almost like made you do things for them. Or like, you know, passively aggressively got you to do things for them and they, then they didn't reciprocate this energy. I think you made a lot of sacrifices for this love and this person made no sacrifices whatsoever. They just gave you promises. You felt obliged to do it for them because you felt like they loved you so much. It's like something latched onto you, you know, this little, you know, little boo-boo latched onto you like, <sighs> you know what I mean?
like a leech. Okay, uh, the Three of Swords, you are going through heartbreak right now, but you know what you want, you know who you are. At the same time, you know everything is gonna be okay. Taurus, this is your reminder, everything is gonna be okay. Doesn't matter, if somebody hurts you, that is on them. That is a reflection of them. If someone had mm, mm, betrayal in their heart, for I do see betrayal here. Um, someone had betrayal in their heart, fine. You could have felt like you were replaying something from your childhood, like this person who was betraying you so deeply was reflecting something of your relationship with a parent. Um, and that's something that's deeply, you know, deeply transformative too in this eclipse moment. Because we're between the eclipses, we have the Libra on the 14th. So, you know, now is the time to let those things go. And also to... Um, mm, bring light to some things maybe you have unresolved childhood trauma that you feel is bringing you into certain situations or relationships with people that keep betraying you because a formative experience with a parent made you feel like you um, should accept betrayal or should in some way like you know but bill and you know we all struggle with this you're i totally identify with this that you know you are worthy of betrayal almost like that's what you're worthy of but that's not true someone lied to you someone made you feel that way and then, you know, all these negative energies come in through love and they almost like, you know, make it worse or remind you of it. Uh, also, my baby, uh, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. I forgot to do the intro. Um, I love you, Taurus. Give me a kiss. I see you. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching, baby. I'm always so, so grateful and so thankful. I'm amazed that you spent your time with me. And also, don't forget, I'm doing the spooky sale. Everything is half price until the end of October. So uh, book now to avoid disappointment. Um, my normal pricing and all the info is in the description box below. And this is for all services, tarot, coaching, and magic spells. So if you're interested in purchasing any of those, if the price, let's say, is normally uh, $100 for a one-hour reading, it is now 50 If a spell is normally 200 is it is now 100 etc., etc., etc. Uh, take advantage, I'm, I've been saying this in the videos recently, take advantage of the spell work because I will probably not be doing a sale on spells. I don't know, maybe one day, but, but not for a long time. So now is your chance, baby. <sighs> Seven of Wands crossing you. You're standing up for your values, but Bill, when it comes to love. It's almost like spiritual onslaught. Someone, you know, like... Whoever you were dealing with, this person who betrayed you, whoever you were dealing with, it was someone with a very big ego, someone who was trying to overpower you, and someone who may feel almost to the extent that like it was like spiritual warfare of some kind, like a spiritual attack on your integrity, on who you are, on your sparkle, because you are so sparkly, and you do belong to the goddess, and you know it. Keep asserting yourself. It's hurting. Like, I feel it. Like, you're still hurting, Taurus. It's okay, baby. I'm give me an excuse. You're still hurting, but it's okay. You have to assert yourself in this situation. Uh, the person who betrayed you still thinks that somehow, some way, despite this betrayal, despite the drama, despite you asserting yourself and your boundaries, uh, they can still get you back in some kind of a way. The King of Swords. They think they can still get you back. They think they can still exert some kind of power over you. Psychic power. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you just wait one second. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just people passing by and like, I think as the night goes on, people get more triggered by me doing the videos out here. But it's all like, you know, signs and synchronicities for you. You know, you triggered this person. Whoever you, you put your boundaries up and this person felt like, no, I can still bother you or I can still like get my way with you, Taurus. I can still control you. I can still be mean to you. No, no, you can't. That's the final betrayal. What you're not expecting is some kind of an offer or a journey, but Bell. I don't know. For some of you, it's going to be your sugar daddy, sugar mommy, anyone in between the two, two of pentacles. Like, someone's going to give you some kind of an offer, but it's something to do with your pr prosperity and success. The person from the past is going to cross your path again. And this is in the near future. This is, you know, going into November energies. Someone's going to rematerialize in your life between now and the new year. You are so heartbroken, though. Don't you know, maybe just block and delete completely. Like, delete, 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 delete with a capital D. Because it's a capital D douche flu. But you're getting a new offer. And, you know, not everyone's like, you know, obviously we're not looking for, I don't know why I said sugar daddy. But, like, it's coming up. So, if it's 
If that's not your situation, then what you're not expecting is you're going to take a journey. Uh, you're going to be given some kind of an opportunity to take a journey or take a risk on an investment, a new job, a new thing. And the advice is to take this, take this opportunity. Uh, it's going to help you find yourself and it will lead you to a new love. The Seven of Cups, Signs and Synchronicities, this entire Scorpio season for you, Taurus, is all about accepting the signs, accepting your scrumptiousness, accepting your higher, um, higher intuition, and following what you see with your third eye. You know what I mean? Believe in, in yourself. Believe yourself because your intuition is always on point. Don't doubt it, Bipil. Don't doubt it. Let's see. Who is the new Bipil? Yeah, there's big love coming your way. Overseas, like I'm telling you, if you, if you get like a job offer to go overseas or you, some like a friend is like, let's go on a trip for like, I don't know, one day, go because you might be meeting your love this way. Also, uh, love could be coming to you by water. So it could be someone coming in from a distance or someone that you meet through some kind of an international situation or community. If that is part of your path, if that is part of your job, Mm, it's someone with a lot of love to give. Look, Ace of Cups could be, mm, you get so much Scorpio energy in your reading. Could be a Scorpio, mm, could be an Aries too, Six of Wands. Mm, when you meet this person, there's going to be no doubt in your mind that they are obsessed with you. And you need that. You know, you need to feel like, you know, there's someone reliable. Someone's giving you their heart here too. This is someone you've been waiting for for a long time. And they're going to be beautiful. They're going to be beautiful like art. You know, there's something like very scrumptious. Uh, maybe artistic about this person, but they're just like beautiful, like 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 a Greek statue, you know, like a Greek god goddess. Anyone in between, it's gonna be scrumptious. Also, like yeah, my dress isn't dressing itself. I excuse me. <laughs> oh my gosh, these readings, you know, sometimes I just think like, oh my gosh, <laughs> what will the people think? But then I don't care because you know whatever. Blue Angel Love Tarot, it is what it is. Uh, it's real. Yeah, and this world. There's a lot of world energy, you know, like I'm telling you, Taurus, if you're, you may not be expecting this, but you could be doing a lot of traveling in the next year, or you could be getting a lot of offers that put you in a situation with people who are like in an international mindset or like putting you in a position where you could be meeting new people, but it's all like world, you know, the world, mm, citizen of the world energy, the moon beneath of the world at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, yeah, eclipse, eclipse energy bringing you uh, good things. Your life's going to transform a lot in the next six months, you're going to see. Uh, and it's all coming in and it's starting Scorpio season. Don't get distracted by the douche flutes. Just remember it. All right. I mean, it's all up to you, baby. It's all about free will on this channel. You know how we go. All right, Taurus, this is what I have for you tonight. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. I don't know why these reads are so long today. It's just, I don't know. I'm enjoying my time with you. Uh, let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification button because um, that really helps your mommy out. I'll see you next time. My boo stay sparkly, stay Gucci, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>